Pitch training camp is just around the corner with the Panthers scheduled to take the field for the first time for official team practices for the tw ahead of the 2022 20, uh, the 2022 season on August 1st. One of the biggest storylines surrounding this team right now is the quarterback battle, which some people have already declared over in a lot of ways. Uh, Nicole Arbach of The Athletic is one of the more prominent names that has pretty much already anointed Keaton Slovis as the starter for week one against West Virginia. She labeled Slovis as the presumed starter and noted that Nick Patty, a junior backup who was sort of the heir apparent to Kenny Pickett before Slovis arrived via the transfer portal, she kind of uh, said that he would push Slovis, but that Slovis would eventually come out on top. Um, and this was kind of more a formality, and they want to keep Slovis engaged and not let him rest on his laurels. I, I think that's a little dismissive of Patty, who's been really solid in the game action that we've seen, and all the game action that we've seen from him has been, uh, you know, uh, emergency situations. You know, Pickett's been hurt either in-game or uh, in the week prior to a game, and uh, Patty has to kind of learn on the fly, build a rapport with his receivers on the fly, and uh, make the most of a difficult situation. So I think this is a little unfair to Patty to kind of just hand Slovis the starting spot, even if it's just us, uh, you know, kind of, when I say us, I mean media, writers, whoever. I think it's a little unfair just to hand that to him right away. Um, I understand the Slovis hype. Uh, he was a blue chip recruit coming into USC, played really well his freshman year, and, and I'd argue played pretty played decently enough uh, in the two years following. You know, he was in a tough situation at USC, you know, institutionally and on the field. Uh, he had to deal with a lot, uh, just given where that program was. Maybe a fresh start at Pitt is all he needs to kind of return to form, and if that's true, if he is the same quarterback that he was his freshman year, he should be the starter. That's uh, I think that's that's fair enough to say, but don't sleep on Nick Patty. Uh, I think it's a little unfair to, to kind of already exclude him from this conversation. I think he's creative. I, I think he has nice touch. Uh, I think he has a good rapport with his receivers. I think or the receivers that have been at Pitt for a while, uh, guys like Jared Wayne, Jim Barton, people like that. Uh, and I, I understand the, the throwing motion is a little bit funky. Maybe he doesn't have the strongest arm in the world, but this guy's experienced and savvy and I think could bring plenty to this pit offense and run it just as well as, as Slovis could. Now, again, this is just kind of media speculating from the outside a little bit, but and Pat Narduzzi is the kind of guy to, you know, the kind of coach to not let us know, not hint or even, you know, reveal anything up until, you know, the very last minute. He doesn't like to give away too much, but it seems like that's where this is trending, uh, that Slovis is automatically the starting quarterback, but I think we should give Nick Patty a little bit more of a chance and let this quarterback battle play out before we anoint anyone to start.